Harlem Renaissance musicians had a huge impact on American culture. They innovated jazz ballad style and brass band style and heavily influenced American pop music in the following decades, including modern pop, country, rock, punk, and alternative music. Ella Fitzgerald and Count Bassey were two of the most influential music artists. Fitzgerald was born in 1917 and raised in Yonkers, a New York suburb. She started her singing career in elementary school to make her own work. Her mom died when she was 15, so her aunt raised her in Harlem. In Harlem, she was exposed to the rich culture and music style that was popular in the area. Bassey was born in August 1904 in Red Bank, New Jersey. Both of his parents had some type of musical background. His father played the mellophone and his mother played the piano. In fact, she gave Bassey his first piano lessons. He died in April 1984, aged 79, in Hollywood, Florida. <laughs> Ella Fitzgerald was able to sing many different styles of music and conveying subtle moods with a wide-ranging voice. She was the most popular female jazz singer in the United States for more than half a century. Over the span of her career, she won 13 Grammy Awards and sold over 40 million albums. She worked with Count Bassey as well as many other popular jazz artists of the time period. She joined Norman Graz Jazz in the Philharmonic in 1946. Ella Fitzgerald sings the Cole Porter Songbook, released in 1956, which was one of, first, one of the first eight multi-album songbook sets Fitzgerald recorded for Vern. In the mid-50s, Fitzgerald was the first African-American to perform at the Makambu. She was inducted into the Downbeats Magazine Hall of Fame and received Kennedy Center honors for her continuing contributions to the arts. Count Bassey was most well known for his wide range of compositions and his skill as a pianist of multiple styles. From jazz ballads like Little Darlin', which became the template for all jazz ballads to follow, to more modernist, almost avant-garde styles of composition with the bluesy April in Paris. He also composed many of the big man style pieces, such as the one o'clock drum, featuring strong emphasis on the rhythm section as well as the horn section, which was rare for the time. He created a jazz orchestra called the Count Bassey Orchestra in 1935. It quickly became one of the most well-known jazz groups and still remains so today. He featured many other black artists from popular guitarist Freddie Green, who set into place what it means to be a jazz guitarist as both a soloist and a member of the rhythm section, Helen Humes, a vocalist, to Lester Young, a tenor saxophonist. He was also well known for his skills as an improviser, adding changes to his own compositions on the spot during his performances while still communicating effectively with the rest of the ensemble to ensure a solid performance. Count Bassey was the first African-American man to ever receive a Grammy. On top of directly empowering the African-American community by bringing artists like Green and Humes to the spotlight, he also indirectly brought the community to the forefront through his compositions and his orchestra becoming so popular. His brilliance for writing and performing was truly essential to the diffusion of African-American culture and music into American culture as a whole.
1924, 1924, 1922, 1933, 